Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Carrie Roberts with um, Carrie Roberts Makeup Artist based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And today I'm going to re be reviewing Lancome lipsticks. So I've got Lancome lipsticks in four different colors. My go-to is always, I always like a good plum and a good purple. And um, I went ahead and got a little neutral and a pink just for every day, just to get a good overall look. And I just wanted to play around with it on the channel today and let you guys know what I'm thinking. First color is 317. It's very difficult for me to tell you what the names of the colors are because the print is so tiny. But basically, this light pink one here, that's how it looks on my hand. And then we've got this kind of warm pink with some speckle in it here. This is number 272. There it is there. It's this one here. On my hand and then the next one is the purple which is 363 I believe which is that one right there and then the last one is I believe it's 358 which is kind of like that cranberry look which is that one right there so first impressions the reason why I actually bought these lip glosses as you can see on the back of my hand they swatch pretty well they look very glossy which I love a good gloss I don't mind if gloss is a little sticky or tacky that works totally good with me and I like a gloss that is kind of wet feeling and kind of feels a little moisturizing because I need something on my lips all the time if I don't have gloss I need some kind of lip um, chapstick or lip moisturizer or something. So that's why I went ahead and bought them. The not so good things about them is they're not as pigmented. I was a little bit, I guess, I don't know. I guess it doesn't look that much, that very pigmented on my back of my hand, but in the store at the time it did look pigmented, which is why I bought four of them. They're not my most favorite purchase. It wasn't to the extent that I would return them, but I definitely won't be purchasing them again either. When I, I love to layer lipsticks, or sorry, lip glosses on top of lipsticks. And when I layer the lip gloss on top of the lipstick, it doesn't add any more texture. All it does is add a little bit of shine. So I feel like I could get that same benefit if I just used um, Vaseline. I don't feel like using the, the lip gloss at this rate at $25 per lip is that great so it's just a so-so I probably will never purchase these again I think these are really good for someone if you like a really moisturizing lip gloss that's not heavily pigmented that's just going to give you just a little a hint of color that will moisturize your lips for a very long time this is definitely for you if you want a lip gloss that doesn't have a lot of um scent to it and if it's a little, t it's a little, a little tacky, but not very much, then go ahead and invest in it. But if you want a lip gloss that's more highly pigmented and can almost double as a lipstick or can layer on top of a lipstick to add for extra pigmentation, this is not for you. So thank you so much for watching. Please share with your friends and I'd love to hear your comments below and let me know what your favorite lipstick is. And if you have these lipsticks, let, or sorry, lip glosses, if you have these lip glosses, let me know what you think. Thank you and see you next week.